Hail Drangir. As I'm sure many of you are aware, God of War Ragnarok is set to be released in 2022 after some delay. The PR team also decided to give the fan base a little bit of surprise and released the image for Thor. Now, if you paid attention to the internet recently, and don't fib to me, I know you've paid attention to the internet recently, you'll know that there is a storm of things being said about the design. So I thought I'd do a little fun video on some of the comments I've heard about the design for Thor. Now, before we get into the meat of this video, I just want to say this is not a body shaving video. I put on some pounds during COVID, so I'd only be beating my own horse there. With that said, let's look at the character design. And here we are. This is Sony Santa Monica's design for Thor. I also want to point out they cast Ryan Hurst as Thor. I love this. I loved him in Remember the Titans. I loved him in Sons of Anarchy. I truly think he can bring great character and real depth to Thor. Now to the design. The internet is pretty divided on this, with some even dubbing him Fat Thor. Not to be confused with this Fat Thor. And if you follow the storyline from the first God of War set in Norse mythology, Fat Thor fits. Uh, Mimir referred to him as a Fat Dauber. So following the storyline of the game, this design fits. However, I see a lot of argument back and forth on the internet right now about what Thor should look like. Written description of Thor are pretty scant. Um, they refer to fierce red eyes, red beard, broad, strong. Proponents of this design point to strongman competition as the basis and acceptance of this Thor. My disagreement is that Thor is a warrior god, and so should be able to handle melee fighting for a long period of time. The strongman body type is built for quick explosions and rests, or endurance holding. A body like this has a problem with energy efficiency and oxygen consumption. Not really good for a guy in battle. Detractors say he's morbidly obese. I think with a little bit of shading around the center, some definition around the chest and arms, that could be fixed pretty easily. What I'm not suggesting is replacing him with this. This is a body built for aesthetics, not for combat. But if I might present to you an alternative... This, I believe, would be a better body style for our beloved God of Thunder. You'll notice a squared frame, slight definition in muscle groups, not chiseled cuts, a less roundedness to the stomach region, and more in line with the chest. This is a body style for someone who is extremely strong, as Thor is, and who could also swing that giant sword for pretty much as long as he wants, should he aim to. So that's my take on it. Let me know what you think in the comments or reply videos. And Sony Santa Monica, you can send my check in the mail. And to all of you, remember, stay strong and reach out for help if you need it.